Hey you guys, what's happening? This is Ivy and I'm going to give Pisces a peek at your week. So we're going to see the energies that you may run into this week. Perhaps you do, perhaps you don't, but let's get started. So for Sunday, we have the Nine of Swords. You could be all up in your head, uh, possibly, you know, thinking about some things, decisions that you need to make. There might be some things that are weighing on you. That is, you know, challenging and making it difficult for you to really um, get any real rest. Going through a bit of anxiety. Also, um, you know, it might be some things that you need to take a look at mentally uh, that could be affecting your health. Um, but just, you know, a lot of worry in regards to your situation and what you may have going on. Uh, putting a lot of mental thought into it. Monday, we have the lover's card. So this, you could be faced with uh, two major decisions or two paths that you may need to uh, um, choose from. This could be in regards to a relationship. It could be a job. It could be moving. This literally could be anything. Should I go? Should I stay? Um, should I be with this person? Should I not? Uh, but this is really needing to take a pause and take your time to figure out what you're going to do because that is like a major uh, life-changing thing um, that you are going to be faced with. And then again, we have the Two of Swords. So really needing to make up your mind. Like if you're just sitting in this place where you're feeling like things will kind of work itself out, it, it may not. Like you can't just not make a decision this is really you know taking off the blindfold looking at the options that are before you and making a sound choice and so wednesday we have the six of swords so this is really moving away from any turbulent type of energy uh, any drama that you may be around or dealing with in any kind of way uh letting go of a lot of mental um, anxiety that you could be going through or negative mental thoughts moving into a place where you're getting away from uh, people, places, and things that just cause a lot of drama and irritation to your mental um, sanity or mental peace we have a lot of swords here uh, we have the queen of swords so this could actually be you being someone uh, taking on the energy of someone who actually has dealt with some form of loss or hard time, hardship, and knowing how to manage to get through it. This could also be you dealing with someone who has been in that kind of situation that could offer you some form of advice. But this really feels like you may have, you know, dealt with some hard times in the past and you're not a stranger to it. So for whatever reason, um... That may be like specific energy that you may fall under on Thursday where you just really have to bear down and understand that, you know, you'll be able to manage again. You manage through the first time you'll manage again. And uh, Friday, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So this is a need to really let go of something or walk away from something that is long overdue to be let go of. And not feeling bad about it but it's like you're holding on there's something that you're still holding on to that maybe for whatever reason you might be afraid to let go of it because of the uh reaction that it's going to cause if this is a relationship um you don't want to get caught up in anything that is codependent but really needing to take a look at those things that you have allowed yourself to be tied to and knowing when enough is enough like when is really the time that you need to be stepping away and this feels like Friday, you may be faced with some energy that you just know has been long overdue for you to let go of. And then Saturday, we have justice. So you could be um, faced with a situation where you have to be fair in your decision-making process when it comes to staying balanced, uh, not being... Um, just being fair, you know, hearing someone out and allowing someone to actually um, 
have their say and then you having your say, but being able to look at things in a fair way to squash any disagreements that may be um, that may be had. So let's see what advice we could get for energy that you may be faced with this uh, coming week. Okay. Abraxas. We have Abraxas. So let's see what is the advice from Abraxas. I rarely get this one. So the advice is beware of lies of omission and hidden truths so there could be someone in your energy that may try to lie to you by not being completely honest and you need to be aware of that make sure that you are getting the whole truth from somebody and that they are actually telling you everything and then also this is for yourself too that you need to make sure that you are being honest in your dealings and not omitting any information because even when you omit some information, a lie, a lie is a lie. It's still a lie. You're not being completely honest with someone. So you want to make sure that you are on guard for that. Um, you may need to use a little bit of your intuition as well to be able to hone in on what it is that you are feeling. If you feel as though you are um, being taken for a ride or... Um, someone is not being completely honest or a situation seems a little bit shady then you need to definitely make sure that you uh, are getting the full truth about a situation or a person and not allowing yourself to be taken for a ride so that is your read for the week and hopefully you get something out of it and it resonates like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. And if you'd like to be considered for a free reading once I hit 500 subscribers, make sure that you like video, share video, and subscribe to my channel. Also, in the comment section, put your name, your email address, and the words pick me so I know that you would like to be considered for a free reading. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. I really appreciate you. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm Ivy and you're at Ivy Vibes. Peace.